Let's go to Scott in Colorado. You're on the air. Welcome, Scott. How you doing, Alex? I'm doing all right, but I tell you, it's getting crazy. Absolutely is. Obama's taking over. I, I got to say that I've never uh, thought it would move this quick. But, but yeah, he's, he says the U.N.'s over our military. He can secretly arrest us if he wants. Uh, he's arresting good whistleblowers that expose any government criminal activities. It's unprecedented. I have a question for you, Alex. Yes. Who's Mallory Mahoney? Mallory Mahoney is one of our uh, graphics people that works here at the office. Wasn't she formerly with Stratford? You know, you guys are mentally ill, and I appreciate your call. You know, whenever uh, we hired six graphics people for the magazine and for working in here, and the University of Texas is here in Austin, Stratford is like a, a private intelligence gathering firm that, in my opinion, puts out propaganda. It's like a feedback loop to, like, agree with the Pentagon so they can say, look, this private group said it. And somebody worked there for a month and a half as an unpaid intern and helped write a paper on China. And, and, and I mean, what am I going to do if somebody was ever in the military or somebody ever in, 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 I mean, you know how many people, you know, about a third of the UT journalism people that uh, we bring in here for interviews because we hired a couple from UT, actually three of them are from UT. Does you know about half of them or more at, had an internship there? There's not many places to get a media internship. The Austin American Statesman, the Austin Chronicle, this is for print, the Houston uh or the Texas Observer, or whatever it's called, and that's small, and then Stratford, because it's mainly writing thousands of things a day. That is mental illness, you see. We're not worried about the New World Order. We're not worried about everything else. Listen, people say I work for the government, okay? I wouldn't get up here and say, don't take the vaccines. The government's pushing that. I wouldn't get up here and say criminal elements of our government were involved in 9-11, because they were, or that they're running al-Qaeda in Libya and Syria. I mean, just use your brain. You know what? If I work for the government then I'm the worst government agent the planet's ever seen. Total mental illness. And people always say, you need to answer this, or you need to answer that. And no matter how many times I answer something, I will still be asked the same mentally ill question over and over again. People are looking. See, what's happened is the public has lost faith in the mainstream media and the government, which overall is a healthy thing. The Founding Fathers stated that. History shows that. But they had judgment. It doesn't mean that then everything is fake. It doesn't mean that I'm I'm Bill Hicks or that I'm I'm really an actor and the professor in Florida who says that Sandy Hook may have been staged with crisis actors, which they really have, that I'm him. I mean, mental illness, mental illness. But I understand in a society in crisis, you know, just doesn't believe anything anymore. Mental illness. Uh